All right, I am excited to show you this. This is a product I've been working on for a little while, and it's it's honestly completely transformed the way that I write. And, and a lot of the writers that I've showed it to so far have had a very similar uh, reaction. Um, so let's dive in. It's called Lex, and it's like Google Docs, except it's got an AI baked in. And there's a, a few different ways you can use it, but I think my favorite is probably for when you're stuck. So this happens to me all the time. I'm, I'm writing a post. Let's say I, I got started on this post right here. And I get to this point, and I'm like, I just don't know what I want to say next. So when that happens, usually I just, you know, I go to Twitter or I space out or, you know, I, I just forget writing the post altogether. But what I can do now is I just type plus, 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 and that is the sort of magic key where it consults the AI and it gives you something that's like, I mean, if you pause and like kind of read what's up here and then this, it is wild how good it is. And the point is not actually that it's perfect. Like a lot of these AI writing products, I think the biggest mistake they make is they're really focused on generating entire pieces. And the AI is not quite good enough to do that yet, especially if you want your pieces to generate a lot of attention, right? And to win the competition for attention with, you know, against other human writers. But what I think this is so good at is as a human writer, you can look at this and you can say, oh, that reminds me. Or you can say, oh, actually, that's wrong. I, and it helps you decide what you want to talk about and helps you remember a lot of things. So there's more stuff you can do. I mean, you can say like, you know, uh, generate some counter arguments to the above. And I mean, <laughs> it'll literally just like you can anticipate the objections that people might have. And, you know, some of these, so positioning is everything. This obviously doesn't quite makes sense because I was saying that it matters, but it's overrated. The most important thing is to have a great product. It's like, yeah, actually some people would say that. They would say that a great product is all that matters and the way that you position it or market it, you know, doesn't matter as well. So anyway, it's not necessarily that it's perfect. It's just that it's great as an input to a writer's uh, process. So um, anyway, the sort of autocomplete uh, is one way to do it. Another cool AI feature we've got is the title ideas. So this is a big thing. Every time I write a post, I got to publish it. And at the end, I'm like, oh, I should really think of some more title ideas because the title, the headline, like it matters so much um, to, to whether people are going to pay attention to it or not. But it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a pain to like brainstorm 10 ideas or whatever. A lot of people end up, you know, myself included, kind of going with the first thing that occurred to them. So here you can just click a button and it spins around a little bit uh, and asks uh, the AI, like, you know, what are some title ideas? And so here are some that it generated. And again, it's just like, these are pretty good. <laughs> these are better than I would write a lot of times. And if you don't like these, you can generate more. The thingy spins again, and it just appends them to the list. And it saves these here, you know, so you can always have them and come back to them or decide which ones you want or don't want. So um, this, you know, I have a lot of ideas of how I can make that better. Um, and in general, there's a bunch of stuff that I think can go from here, but this is just kind of like a simple first version. Uh, I figure while we're here, we should demo. So this is, you can see like, I've got it open in another browser. It's just like Google Docs. I can say like, you know, hello. Um, and all that just works really well in real time. Um, there's some nice stuff that's a little bit better than Google Docs, I think. So, you know, you can just hit the normal keyboard shortcut to bring up emojis. It's got dark mode, which is nice. Uh, it works really well. It's fast, like on mobile, um, which, you know, if you have the app of Google Docs on mobile, it's, I think you might know it's not always the best. Um, so yeah, this is Lex. I'm really excited about it. And um, we're going to be rolling out beta invites in the coming days and weeks. And uh, we're going to prioritize every subscriber. So I'll have links in the tweets below of kind of like how to get in on that. But yeah, just really excited to get this into more people's hands. Um, I think these kinds of tools generally are the next big wave in word processing. If you think like the history of these things, you know, the first big wave was like, you know, word perfect or word. And it's just because there was personal computers. And then there was Google Docs because you can do that over the internet and it can become real time multiplayer. And I think now, regardless of if it's Lex or something else, but you know, I think it could be Lex. Um, you've got this wave that's got intelligence baked in these large language models. Um, so I think it'll change the way people write and I'm excited about it. So thanks for watching and uh, talk to you soon.